two hand warming mugs. <sighs> okay guys, so I literally just ran out to my car to get my camera because I just put up the hand warming mug, how to make a hand warming mug, and someone commented, I can't remember what your name is, I'll put it right here, ding! Uh, and he had this idea, why don't you just put your hand, like deform the cup after you throw it, and then put a slab over top of that. And I was like, that's genius. So I had some cups that I threw this morning, and I tried it, and I was like, duh, brilliant. So, this is hand warming mug part two. Another way to do it. So, I have made a bunch of mugs the way that I showed you the first time, and it works. But this way, get ready. All right, let's go to the studio. We're in the studio, so I was like, just trying it out. And that's what it looks like when you add the slab on the outside of the mug instead of the inside. It looks a little different, but I think it's way easier, way better. Especially for the first time that I've ever done that. I threw all these mugs this morning. Some coffee pour overs, some other things. Mugs, so I had some mugs, and so I'm gonna set it up, and I'm just gonna show you how to do it that way. Let's do it. Todd Winchester, so shout out Todd. Okay, so now we have our cup, our mug, that we threw, right? Right there. And now, instead of cutting a slit in it, we're just gonna take our hand and just kind of make a little indent in there, like that, right? And so basically then, we're just adding a slab to the outside. I'm like, you guys have no idea how excited I was when I tried this, and I was like, wait, wait, wait. I've made how many hand warming mugs? Half of me was super excited, and half of me felt like a complete idiot. How did I not think of that? For this slab piece, and like, Granted, this is the third one that I've ever made. Oh, and I made this one too, which the, it was a little smaller, so I thought you could just like put three fingers in there and then have one up top here. So when it's too hot to hold, you can just hold it like from the top. But then when you wanna warm those hands, if you wanna do that, if you wanna like do that. I don't know, it's a work in progress, guys. Okay, so, okay, so, I gotta stop saying that. You guys have no idea how often I say, okay, so, but I edit it out most of the time. Sometimes I forget. All right, <laughs> there I go again. Whatever shape, we're just gonna create almost like a square with a little bit of curve on it right there. So that is about the shape that I think is gonna work best right now. Once again, so now we're just adding it to the top like that. So we're just gonna Attach it right here, attach it across the top, attach it across the bottom, and that's it. And I'm thinking, I mean, in reality, you don't even really need this thing. This thing is totally just for decorative purposes. Like, if you're gonna hang on to the mug, you might as well just hang on to it, right? But let's do it anyway. Oh, no, I don't need that. I don't need to score that side, because I'm not attaching that habit right there. This mug is slightly too wet right now, but I'm doing it anyway. Instead of smoothing a bunch of the pieces on the inside, now basically all you're doing is just smoothing this right here and then smoothing this right here. And, and I mean, you gotta make sure that this is attached and this is attached. But I might even actually trim this. So, like, I'll attach it right here. Then I'll put it back on the wheel and then trim the bottom, I think. Guys, this is so exciting. This is exciting. So exciting. And I'm probably just gonna fast forward all through what I'm saying right now. And there's hand warming method. Part two. Part dose. Oh, this right here is exactly why I love the YouTube channel. 
And I love pottery in general because I come out with something and I'm like, I've been doing it this way forever. And it works and it's great. And if you want to do it that way, then maybe you'll like it more than me. Then someone comments like, uh, you ever thought about doing it this way? And it's like, boing, genius, genius. So Todd Winchester, shout out to you. Great comment. Go check out that last video, check out the comment. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. My, my vision for the YouTube channel is becoming solidified. I have this vision to like be the potter that tries out all these different methods. So is it low fire, is it high fire, is it raku fires, is it gas, is it wood, is it hand warmer mugs, is it slip casting, sodium, silicate, like, you know, under glazes, slip trailing, all the, like, there's so many different methods. And so I've tried a lot of them, but I wanna be the guy that like tries it out, makes videos on it. If I have to go interview a potter, if I have to go learn it from somebody, if I'm, if I'm not even really learning it, I'm just like learning it from somebody to share it with you, that's what I wanna do. So I think 2019 will be, I am going to make pottery videos still, but it's gonna be like, what can I learn and research and try and pass the knowledge along to YouTube, the internet, the world. That's it, that's my vision. All right, this will be a short little video, follow up, hand warming. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, comment, like, share, comment below, tell me the things that you wanna learn. What are those techniques out there? Maybe you're like agate wear, you know, the marbled clay, like I really wanna try that. Cause that's my dream, just experiment forever. Uh, always be experimenting. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the support. Uh, I really appreciate all the patrons over on the Patreon page. We're sending pottery every month. See you in the next video. Oh. I hit the lip on the lens. Shh. <laughs>